a robot used a TIP120 uh, to drive the motor. And let's look up a couple of parameters on the TIP120. First, we can see how to wire it up. Uh, there's the base, there's the collector, and there's the emitter. Uh, second, let's look up and see what the gain is. Uh, the current gain here, the HFE, for the TIP120 is 1,000. Next, let's look up the relationship between the input voltage and the output voltage. And so we can see that here, that on this plot, we can see a relationship between the base emitter voltage, so we're going to drive it in saturation, and the relationship between the base emitter voltage and the maximum collector current. Uh, so, for instance, if we have a half a amp that we're driving to our motor, we're going to have or need a base emitter voltage here of about 1.4 volts. And once we've put in 1.4 volts on the base emitter, we're going to see that our collector emitter voltage will be about 0.75 volts. So from this diagram, we can see here that if the voltage here is above 1.4 volts, there will be a half an amp of current that can flow, and that will generate, uh, at most, about 0.7 volt drop across that uh, NPN Darlington transistor. So this is how we used uh, the data sheet to look up the parameters for our operating device.